Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the great Broadway musical hit, Revenge with Music, starring Gordon McRae and his guest star from the Metropolitan Opera, Nadine Connor. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and the music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Well, thank you, Marlon Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we have a Latin treat for you tonight in the Arthur Schwartz Howard Dietz musical triumph, Revenge with Music. Nadine Connor will be the lovely Senorita Maria, and I'll play Carlos. The lucky caballero who's in love with her. But of course, everyone is in love with Maria when they watch her dance at Manuelo's tavern, and especially when she dances the Tarantella. Oh, oh Maria, my darling, I've never seen you dance with such excitement. Oh, why shouldn't I? My future husband is watching. <laughs> you hear what she calls me, my friend? In all of Spain, is there anyone lovelier than my Maria? Oh, no. oh will you say that about me, Carla? When we have been married 50 years? Oh, sweetheart, I will always say it. If there is someone lovelier than you, then I... manager of this miserable tavern. What, what, what is it, Your Excellency? Shh, don't call me my Excellency. I don't want anyone to know I'm the governor of the province. Oh, of course not, Your Excellency. <laughs> oh, tell me something, Manuelo. 
Who is this peasant puppy who makes love to your dancer? He is Carlos, the local miller. A fine fellow. He and Maria are going to be married tonight. It is all arranged. Then it must be unarranged by you. Oh, but, but why do you want to spoil the wedding? You are very dense tonight, Manuelo. I think you have been drinking your own wine. Me? <laughs> Me drink that stuff? You think I'm crazy? <laughs> Frankly, Manuelo, why should this beautiful and talented dancer throw her life away on a peasant when the governor of the province is interested in her? But your excellency is married. My wife is married. See what it's done to her. <laughs> Manuelo, we must save your pretty dancer from such a fate. Stop this wedding tonight. All right, Your Excellency, but I'm going to hate myself in the morning. <laughs> and where should we go for our honeymoon, Marie? To Andalusia? Pyrenees? Oh, why should we go looking for our love, Carlos? We found it. Oh, all my life will be a honeymoon, Maria. Married to you. Maria, how I love Maria. There will never be a lovelier Maria than my own Maria. Beautiful Maria. I have only one idea. That idea is Maria. Forever. She'll be mine forever. Never, never, never will I ever let her be alone, Maria. Hear my heart, Maria. All day long it's singing me a song of love to my Maria. Maria, my love, Maria. There will never be a lovelier Maria than my own Maria. Beautiful Maria. I have only one idea. That idea is Maria. Forever. She'll be mine forever. Never, never, never. Will I ever let her be alone, Maria? Hear my heart, Maria. All day long it's singing me a song of love to my Maria. Maria. Never set me free. There will never be a girl like my Maria. Maria. Oh, let us celebrate. Drinks for everyone. Drinks for all, my friends. Uh, uh, Carlos... Uh, Carlos, may I ask you to do me a little favor? <laughs> what is it, Manuelo? It, it's just a teensy winky little thing. Really nothing. Well, then name it, my friend. Isn't this my wedding day? What favor can I do for you? Don't get married. <laughs> what? Carlos, is something wrong, dear? This fool of a tavern keeper asks us not to be married. But why? My dear lady, the governor of our province has taken a fancy to you. The governor is a dog. What did you say? <laughs> May I trouble you to repeat that statement? I'll be delighted. The governor of this province is a flea-bitten, mangy, and disreputable dog. <laughs> I admire your courage, my boy, but I'm afraid you will suffer for this. Who is going to suffer for what? I, oh, my wife. Sugar crumb! Don't you dare sugar crumb me. Now, somebody tell me why this strapping young fellow called my husband a dog. Which he is. Well, uh, if you forgive me, your ladyship, it's because your husband wants to stop my wedding to Carlos. Is that true? Now, sugar crumb. Sugar crumb, my foot. <laughs> my friend, the governor apologizes to you for interfering in your personal affairs. I do? You do. <laughs> in fact, he will perform your marriage ceremony himself. I will? You will. <laughs> now, perform. Oh, can you believe it, Maria? That the governor himself actually married us? Oh, Carlos. Will we always be as happy as we are tonight? As long as there is starlight, my sweet. And the music of guitars, how can anything ever come between us? Long is in the air, telling us romance is ours to share. Now at last we've found one another alone. Love like yours and mine has a thrilling glow, sparkling wine. And 
night and the music fill me with flaming desire, setting my being completely on Manuelo. Well, Manuelo, what is it? You are under arrest. Oh, no. Why? What have I done? It's the governor's orders. You must come with me tonight. I won't let you go. Now, now, Maria, don't you worry. But you've made the governor angry. He'll throw you in prison. Nonsense. I'll be back before you know it. Come, Carlos. Turn to the second act of Revenge with Music in just a moment. Eighty key railroad officials from 12 Western European countries have just completed an intensive six-week study of American railroad methods and equipment. They have inspected railroad facilities of every kind and in every part of the country. In summing up what he and the other members of the European group have seen, here transcribed is Dr. Klaus Funk, spokesman for the delegation and directory in the Ministry of Transport of the Netherlands. Dr. Funk. Thank you. In my country, and I guess in the United States, some people have a simplified idea of railroading. Something like this. You take a track, put a locomotive and some cars on it, and there it goes. However, it is not as simple as that. These people do not realize what tremendous effort, technical inventiveness, and both administrative skill are required for the realization of a modern railroad network on which a nation's life depends. But many people in big cities and friendly towns we have visited all over the nation do realize the vital importance of railroads to industry, agriculture, trade, and commerce. Without railroads, you would not have your housing, your food, and countless other necessities and luxuries. It is because of these vital contributions which railroads make that our European mission came to America. We have seen how vital and important the railroads are in this country. 
The same is true for Europe. How welcome it was to receive the invitation of the Economic Cooperation Administration to come to the United States to study your railroads and to see how you handle your vast amount of transportation by railroads. Deeply we are impressed with the enormous daily tasks performed, powerful locomotives, heavy trains, extensive switching yards, they all demonstrated to us how your railroads help to make it possible and to maintain the high economic level in the United States. Now it is up to us to see what incentives we found to European railroads and European economy. A technical and economic task of great importance, certainly. But still more important is the fact that we Europeans and Americans did and will do our part in mutual understanding. May your trains continue to run through plains and woods and over mountains in this land of great distances. And may they continue to interconnect the multitude of things which make up the American way of life. Here is Act Two of Revenge with Music, starring Gordon McRae as Carlos and Nadine Connor as Maria. <laughs> You understand, Carlos. I do not want to take you to jail. I don't blame you, Manuelo. You're my friend. I am? Why don't we stop at your tavern on the way to jail? And then I'll tell you what a fine fellow I really think you are. Oh, mucho gracias. <laughs> that fellow, Manuelo, he's the most important person in town. I am? Manuelo, is that fellow can bring anybody down. No. That fellow, Manuelo, He's a recipe for curing a frown. Oh, that's me. No worry if you hurry to his tavern in the town. Manuelo's wine is the tonic to make you feel fine. You go away feeling gay. That is, if you go away, bring your guitar. There's a dancer down there who's a star. I will show you what a fine fellow I am. I find everybody a drink, even me. Uh, Manuelo, how can I enjoy your party with these handcuffs on my wrist? All right. I take off the handcuffs. But Carlos... You will not run away? Run away? Oh, Manuelo, how could I even think of such a thing? Hey, Carlos! Hasta la vista, Manuelo! Carlos! Carlos, come back! Sorry to run out on your party, but I don't like to keep a lady waiting. <laughs> Is that you, Carlos? Somebody much better. Are you lucky? It is I, the governor. What have you done with Carlos? Eh, forget about Carlos. I have come to serenade you. Uh, let me see. My index finger on the E string. Uh. <coughs> mm -hmm. You and the night and the beauty. Uh, what woman can be to that and not be moved? Eh? <coughs> Fill me with flaming desire. A bucket of water will put out your fire. Huh? <laughs> Wench, I'm drenched. It serves you right. But I'll freeze to death in these stopping clothes. But then hang them up to dry. But what will I wear? <laughs> There's an old house dress of mine on the clothesline. Oh, an old house dress to think the governor of the province should come to this. <laughs> Maria? Maria? Where are you? What? The governor's hat. And his coat. His shoes. All his clothes. Oh, no. I can't believe it. Tell me, Maria, how could you 
destroy what was more than divine. I am no longer your lover, for you're no longer mine. I'll give my heart to another, tear out this feeling for you. Find what my revenge will do. Let's see, I wonder if these clothes will fit me. Carlos, Carlos, where are you? The coat? Ah, I look more like the governor than the governor does. Come back again, Carlos. The governor will be very angry with me. You may be sure I am angry with you. Oh, oh, the governor. You let the person escape from you. But I trailed him here. I, I trailed him here, Your Excellency. I, I thought he would return to Maria, his bride. Ah, oh, that faithless Ruik has nothing for Maria. Now I am off for the palace to offer my love to the governor's wife. Katya, 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 Your Excellency. That doesn't sound like the governor somehow. Who stole my clothes? Uh, may I help you, madame? <laughs> don't call me madame. I'm the governor. Uh -huh. Don't be silly, madame. I just said goodbye to his excellency. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm my excellency. <laughs> well, your excellency's clothes just went that way. Oh. Uh -huh. An imposter has stolen them. Well, you'd better steal them back because your clothes have gone home to make love to your wife. Hey, what a repulsive thought. <laughs> I better hurry to the palace and straighten things out. Manuelo, I've heard everything that happened. I am confused, Maria. I'm not confused anymore. Carlos promised to love me forever. But he leaves me on our wedding night to offer his heart to the governor's wife. My soul is low. It has to revenge myself on the old goat. Who are you calling an old goat? <laughs> You're an old goat. No, he is not an old goat. Oh, my wife. He is the most romantic boy in all of Spain. Aren't you a sugar grub? Huh? Oh, the way you kissed me just now. I didn't know your excellency was so excellent. <laughs> I don't know what the woman's talking about. I do. Forgive me, Maria. I thought you'd been unfaithful to me. Oh, darling, I forgive you. Maria. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's the way you kissed me. I did? I mean, I did. <laughs> Crumble me, sugar crumb. Man kisses his own wife. I don't see much point in that. <laughs> well, anything to keep peace in the family. Mm. <laughs> Oh, sugar thrum. Mm. Oh, Carlos. You 
you know. A thing like this could catch on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our thanks to Nadine Connor, Joe Vitale, Jeanette Nolan, Marvin Miller, and to our entire company. Revenge with music with book and lyrics by Howard Dietz and music by Arthur Schwartz was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroads. Well, dear friends, next week we're repeating one of the best likes of all the shows we've ever done. It's the Kern Hammerstein masterpiece, Showboat, with our original all-star cast, Miss Dorothy Kirsten and Miss Lucille Norman. I'll take a ticket for that, Gordon. It sounds like a wonderful show. Good night. Good night, Nadine. All aboard! Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next week, goodbye. <laughs> Revenge with Music was presented by Special Arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library. Gordon McRae will soon be seen starring in the Warner Brothers production, The West Point Story. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Lubaw, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Drag. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroad. And now keep tuned to your Monday night of music on NBC. Gordon McRae speaking, voice of Firestone, next on NBC.